changed drastically in a sense. Now I feel like I'm just like one of you. It's like I can I can squeeze into a bus. The MRT door is about the close I can squeeze in. Um, I mean, I have no problems. Um, um, for example, like sharing seats in the hawker centre, I don't feel inferior. I don't feel um, that I'm taking up too much space. I can, I mean, in a lift especially, we all stay in HDB. I can squeeze in as the last person. In the past, I couldn't do that. So in a sense, it made me more confident of myself. Um, like, I could actually feel that um, I look forward to life more compared to last time where I just want to go back home. I just want to sleep. I just want to just want to drown myself in my bed and my, my family members because they are so used to me. I didn't really want to open up to people. But then but now it's like more of like I could interact easily. I became more extrovert than the past. In a sense like meeting new people, meeting anyone was not a pro isn't um, is not a problem for me now compared to the past. Um, like I mentioned earlier, after uh, a few months after the operation, about a year about from a year from there, I started losing quite a lot of weight. So I realized that I thought I, I told myself say that eh, I can don't eat, and that's it. I don't need to exercise. I'm fine. I'm good. My blood pressure is down. My diabetes level is down. My HbA1c was down. My high cholesterol was down. Everything was down. It was fine. I was as good as a normal person. But then after that, I thought, okay, let's try eating. It's time to try eating. So I started eating. I started consuming more and more. And my weight started to go up slightly. When my weight started to go up slightly, I started to feel lethargic again. When I hit, I think about 85, 86, I started to get worried again. I started to feel sleepy after lunch. I started to feel sleepy after dinner. Every after, I started wanting cravings for uh, fried food, uh, soft drinks, gassy drinks. And after that, my weight started increasingly, slowly, slowly increasing. So I told myself, I, I actually asked my doctor, I said, why, why is this so? She said, it's normal. Because your stomach starts to expand, you tend to eat more, you can consume more. So I said, is there any way can I, can I maintain what I'm, what, I mean, my weight or can I lose further? And she told me that the only way is exercising. I mean, exercising regularly, not in the sense that exercising once a month, it doesn't help at all. So that's where I started running um, on her advice. I started running, like maybe I started with once a week, then gradually I increased to two times and finally I started doing three times a week. So that I still can enjoy my food, but yet I still can burn off the fats and um, the calories, which I don't actually, it doesn't make me gain weight at all. That's why I've been constantly at this weight for the past maybe two, three years. Yeah. What I understand, um, recently we had a group uh, meeting with all the, all those people who had done operation ranging from maybe one to five years. So in a sense that, um, what I understand is that if, if, they do not, if they do not exercise, they do not maintain, the weight gain is back, uh, weight gain is sure, is sure. But you'll never go back to how you used to be. But gaining, like for example, gaining another, from your last lost weight, maybe you lost 40 kg after the op, because it, the effect is very fast, in a sense that you stop eating totally. But you will tend to gain back maybe 20%, 30%. So it's how you how you manage yourself after the op. In a sense, the doctor I always remember the surgeon told me this. In a sense that this operation is giving you a new life like a baby. After your new life, you are a baby. It's up to you to maintain how you want to maintain. You can eat whatever you want and go back to what you used to be, or you can choose a healthy lifestyle and live normally like the rest of the people. Simple as that. So I choose to live health healthily, which no regret till now. Okay, for the op itself, I used to think exactly like what people used to, most people out there are thinking. It's shortcut, you just go for operation, tomorrow you're done. You don't eat, that's it. But the emotional, the emotional stress, the physical stress, the mental stress that you go through is not as, what, it's not e as easy as what people think. It's easy to not to eat, yes, because you can't consume much. But your mind always tells you that, hey, you're hungry, it's time for you to eat. But you can't eat, you can't eat. So it's how you balance out your mind, your emotions, and how, how you... To me, is that I can push myself and I can eat as much as I want now. I still can force myself to eat, but after going through the pain, the, the emotional trauma of everything, I don't want to go back to someone, go back to where I used to be, and all my illnesses start coming back. And I have to like find another alternative to actually lose weight, 
and uh, maybe go for another op, which no, it's not something I want to do.